Actually, uh, today is the last class of uh, radio pharmaceutical chemistry here. So, actually, uh, uh, Mr. Cho, who, uh, who is in charge of uh, radio pharmaceutical chemistry uh, lab in Cyclotron Center, he uh, unfortunately, he has uh, some problem with his family, so he cannot come today. So uh, uh, I prepared uh, several regulatory issue of the radio pharmaceutical and Q ship uh, of our uh, radio pharmaceutical, and mainly that Q ship quality control protocol from the FDG that you know that the FDG is the uh, manufactured product of our uh, hospital welcome let's see so uh, so okay let me start Uh, as you know that uh, we, our our uh, radio pharmaceutical, you know that radio and pharmaceutical, both of a uh, major issue uh, came from one is radiological or radiation safety issue is coming from radio part, and pharmaceutical means. Uh, pharmaceutical safety issue also came from uh, in case of Korean FDA or in case of US FDA or every uh, food and drug uh, administration regulatory body in, in uh, each countries. So I think the same uh, consideration also uh, issued from the US. You can see the history of US uh, uh, in, in this slide, then you can understand why why they uh, start the regulation, why they start the other part consideration. You can understand it well. Uh, you know, 1938. I I think in my thought, uh, before uh, 1930s, 1920s, they uh, considered radioisotope considered uh, that's very safe. You know, because of there are no color or no uh, smell, scent like that, so they feel uh, that is safe. Uh, even they can use that uh, radio stuff can be used as a could be used as a cosmetics because of that uh, 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 they have a, some kinds of uh, blinking blinking in in the dark. Uh, uh, in the night, so that's why they use the lip gloss. Uh, they use the surface cover of face. So after that, uh, maybe 1930s or 1940s, uh, they said that uh, some kinds of toxicity from radioisotope, especially for alpha particles. So uh, they uh, FDA uh, concerned about that. The toxicity of radioisotope, they so they uh, FDA start to consider that uh, radioisotope regulation like that. But in case of, uh, I think on the same situation in Korea, uh, radioisotope, who owned that radioisotope? In case of Korea, we, we, we are uh, related with the uh, 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 Ministry of Science or Technology. Uh, because of that uh, radioisotope uh, governed by the, in case of us, uh, King's Korea Institute of Nuclear Safety, uh, that is the also government body. Also, same situation in U.S. You know that the Atomic Energy Commission they uh, regulate the reactor produce, produced radioisotope regulation. It can be started. Uh, it could be started in 1954. Uh, and till till that 
a period, FDA just to start to consider. Uh, year of 1963, uh, one doctor who wants to make a radio iodine labeled antibody uh, therapy, uh, but there are, there is there was no uh, FDA approved uh, drug with with that kinds of compound. So he he uh, asked to FDA, can I use this thing for patient my patient? So then FDA they said that the I and the new uh, investigational new drug application exemption for new radiopharmaceutical uh, and biological drug using reactive produced radioisotope. So that means uh, FDA uh, they cannot understand what what is the uh, uh, major harm pull to the patient because of that uh, radioiodine uh, uh, activity should be low. So after ten, almost 10 years, IND also uh, needed uh, for uh, several, especially several radioisotopes, maybe iron-131 uh, or iron-125 like that. And you know, uh, 1975, from the FD regulation, they can uh, uh, start uh, all the uh, safety and efficacy issue of radiopharmaceutical. So we we need to uh, proceed the IND process or NDA process for all the all radio pharmaceuticals and also NRC that is the change from the Atomic Energy Commission uh, to the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission then they uh, cover the safety of public and workers for a radio uh, consideration for uh, public and workers. So uh, their regulations start from the uh, 1975 in, in US, in case of US. Uh, so two major uh, acts will cover the radio pharmaceutical because of the uh, several kinds of issues. How about the EU? Uh, uh, I think almost, almost same regulation pattern in EU also, but uh, in case of EU, they regulate harder than US uh, uh, because of they uh, uh, regulate the all the radio radio pharmaceuticals should uh, be produced by the GMP uh, produced product, uh, except only except for a. Uh, uh, technician labeled the uh, radio pharmaceutical that is the compounding uh, radio pharmaceutical in-house preparation radio pharmaceutical uh, but some some part of, because of EU are, are the more than uh, 26 uh, countries gathered together so each uh, regulatory body is there so are there so so that means that some kinds of uh, issue they uh, uh, in case Germany they can uh, uh, allow to do some part, but uh, England they cannot do. So so each country they have different uh, regulation parts, but uh, totally uh, regulation of radio pharmaceutical in EU is uh, harder than the US. And one more part. Uh, in Japan, is almost same situation in the U.S. In case Korea, uh, radio pharmaceutical part is harder than the U.S. or Japan, but uh, radio radio nuclide part is somewhat uh, uh, softer than the uh, U.S. or Japan, uh, especially for uh, unsealed uh, radio pharmaceutical. Uh, unsealed the radio isotope. Uh, in case of us, Co uh, Korean FDA uh, uh, established in 1998. Very recently, <laughs> yeah, le um, just uh, over the uh, uh, 20 years. So, so I think uh, earlier we have a, a, a 
same uh, uh, almost the same kinds of uh, regulatory body in, in our uh, kinds of ministry of uh, health and uh, science then uh, this uh, Korean FDA year of 1998 Korean FDA is established uh, for a uh, 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 for, for they, they need, we need an uh, independent body for uh, uh, FDA regulations there. And also we have uh, another part, the regulation part is a radio, uh, radiation safety part. We have a Korean Institute of Nuclear Safety. And um, nowadays you know that uh, our safety issue is uh, regulation is uh, harder and harder so that's why we have uh, some kinds of problem with the uh, radio isotope uh, using radio isotope uh, in, in our field but still we have a uh, 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 small room for uh, unsealed radio isotope using uh, for a radio pharmaceutical. Okay, uh, before we go for uh, other uh, uh, regulation part, we, we if we use if you want to use a radio pharmaceutical for uh, clinical patient, we have uh, two different types of uh, radio pharmaceutical. You uh, can see here manufactured one and also compounded one. Uh, you should understand what is the difference between the manufacturing and compounding. That is entirely different. You can see here, uh, manufactured compounds just like a Tylenol, they, they can do the uh, marketing. But uh, compounding, if we have a, a very good technician compound, they can visualize, uh, for, for example, uh, they can visualize our heart just like a technician MIBI. We cannot commercial uh, 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 marketing. We cannot do commercial marketing. Just uh, uh, a doctor can select the uh, uh, technician MIBI or technician tetraposmin. He his own will. Then, uh, so that that is a major di uh, difference between the uh, manufacturing or compounding. Uh, Earlier, uh, uh, so, so all all the uh, manufactured product uh, should be approved by the FDA, and also site preparation of the GMP, good manufacturing practice, also controlled by the FDA. In case of Korea, uh, uh, year of uh, year of two thousand seventeen. We got the uh, approval from the FDA, Korean FDA, about the GMP uh, facility. And three years later, uh, maybe year 2020, we have to do the same uh, permission from the uh, KFDA. Uh, in case of compounding, there is no FDA uh, preparation, but. Uh, Earlier, I mentioned that the Korean FDA wants to uh, regulate the compounded product. Also, should be do uh, should be done in the uh, GMP facility, but it's not possible. Even even in Korea, it's not possible. Even in US or EU, we cannot do because of uh, compounding is almost same uh, uh, thing with the uh, just. Uh, antibiotics if you have uh, antibiotics you, if you want to inject uh, to patient just to pull, uh, inject the cell line or uh, uh, water into the vial then mix and then withdraw that is the compound so if uh, all the small clinics they do the more than thousand hundred thousand uh, cases in a day in, in the world. So if they uh, 
Korean FDA wants to regulate the, uh, the GMP facility in, in small uh, clinics, it's not possible. So on the same situation in the technician label the compound because of technician uh, kit is there and then cell line, uh, we can uh, add a small, just a small trace amount of technician is inside the cell line, then we mix, and then we draw on the same procedure that we, we call that is uh, compound. So that's why uh, our all radio pharmaceutical scientists are eager to uh, deny, uh, we, we prohibit the, that all the compounding radio pharmaceutical don't go to the GMP uh, facility. So I think uh, maybe other country, they uh, regulatory body always wants a high air grade of regulation. So you have to uh, protect yourself. Okay, so you have to understand why that compounding is no need for a GMP facility or GMP procedure. GMP is the, not the facility, just the procedure. Practice. So all GMP pro procedure needs uh, validation. So I, I think uh, uh, all the cost for a production fee uh, of uh, one radio, specific radio pharmaceutical mean we need uh, more than 50% uh, uh, increase of the. Uh, uh, we, we use the money more than 50% more for uh, only one GMP procedure. So uh, almost we, we we firstly produced the 1994 uh, in 1990. FTG was produced uh, first in, in uh, Korea. They uh, from 1994 to 19 uh, 2017. Uh, uh, more than uh, 20 years, there is no accident because of GMP procedure. Uh, what what is the major purpose of uh, GMP? Because uh, uh, patient safety is a major issue. So we don't have any kinds of patient uh, problem in, in our FTG production. So, but uh, Korean FDA wants to uh, enroll the, that uh, FTG should be uh, in, into the GMP guidance. So that's why we. We have no choice. So now we are on the uh, uh, GMP uh, protocol of the FTG production. Uh, here you can see the uh, red one is a Korean FDA approved product, and then uh, blue one is the uh, just like a Compounding uh, procedure, but uh, uh, somewhat different procedure. And the uh, uh, black one is the only research uh, purpose. In case of research purpose, we can use the clinical research also, uh, or major uh, consumption is in a, for a animal study. So you can see here FDG and uh, sodium fluoride, aftopa and ammonia is the manufactured product. So we did a uh, old full GMP protocol for these four compounds. Okay. So I think uh, it, uh, my hope you can do all the, this compound because of we have a very limited uh, uh, personnel for this cyclotron uh, based of radio pharmaceutical. Uh, we have, uh, you know, that six person for uh, this old the product of production. Uh, so, so if you have a good enough personnel, just like a one or two person to develop the new radio pharmaceutical in in your country, then uh, this. Uh, can be uh, transferred uh, because of that is a routine production for all the all the radio pharmaceutical is produced by the automatic module so press uh, press button of cyclotron and press button of the automatic synthesizer and then you can get the final product 
I know that yeah, you have a limited personnel in, in specific uh, radio pharmaceutical chemistry field, but uh, anytime you can give us, just like uh, Jashin is here, he can learn the every all the technician compound labeling and neck later on, I, I think he can do the all the GMP procedure for FDG production. So I think we can uh, learn together and can uh, you can go back to your country and you can spread your knowledge to uh, in case of US uh, uh, the uh, US pharmacopoeia they contains uh, 10 uh, compounds is uh, listed in the US pharmacopoeia then we, we think that that compound also we can do the uh, compound uh, you can see the uh, FDG here, FDOPA here, sort of fluoride here but uh, in-house use we can do the uh, compounding but if we want to sell this product to the outside hospital then we have to do the uh, GMP or Korean FDA approval so that's why we uh, have to do the uh, FDA approval because of we can sell the FDG outside of just like a Borame hospital earlier. So, so, but you don't need it now. In, but in case of Florodopa, we supply several different hospitals nowadays. So that's why we need Korean uh, uh, FDA approval for uh, FDOPA in case of FDOPA. So these 10 compounds uh, and also uh, European pharmacopoeia they contains the dotato and uh, FET and uh, FLT they uh, F FAT and choline also uh, we can do the uh, compounded product not manufactured product and for uh, patient safety we have to do the quality control and also sometimes uh, in case of technician compound sometimes we can see the thyroid uptake even even with the technician MIBI or uh, technician HMP you know, then uh, uh, directly we can understand oh that labeling efficiency is low uh, I was frightened that uh, almost all the uh, World technician label the compound only uh, they do the TLC. Even even they didn't do the TLC. They don't do the TLC. Uh, in case of us, uh, year of 2006, I checked all the technician radio pharmaceutical quality control. Uh, they said that uh, uh, they never did. So right after that, we we uh, make a the task force team and we made a task force team for a uh, technician compound the TLC and uh, every day we check the te uh, technician compound and every old uh, technician compound and after three months uh, there is no uh, uh, abnormal uh, TLC result so and then weekly we can do the all the radio farms and then Finally, monthly, and then six months later. So I, I heard that uh, we need a monthly uh, TLC is enough for a te technician compound uh, quality control because of that is not so harmful for uh, 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 because of that radiation dosimetry is very low for uh, uh, especially for uh, uh, just like a, a technician MDP. So, but uh, yeah. Monthly at the department lab or the manufacturer. I mean, I mean, just after the labeling. After labeling. Yeah, we have to check the TLC, but every day we we made a different. I, I think more than six different compounds. They only one person do the uh, technician labeling. So after the labeling, he he can do the couldn't do the TLC because of it will take more than uh, twenty minutes. The, so in the morning time, before 
nine o'clock he has to do everything so so he has no time so, so that's why our uh, pharmacist she she did a TLC every day and after six months she made a a technical report for uh, uh, we don't need an everyday uh, QC, just uh, we can do the monthly QC is enough for uh, uh, patient safety. So that that is a uh, uh, reasonable, okay. So I think uh, uh, this kinds of approach also FDA approved because of uh, oh, FDA not approved uh, FDA. Uh, allowed uh, for that kinds of because of uh, uh, radio pharmaceutical that safety issue came from TLC also we have to consider that the safety issue for a worker because of if he want to withdraw small amount of radioactivity because of that tech, in case of technician they did uh, uh, more than one curing Generator. They use the more than 100, more than uh, 800 millicurie. So every day they did it like that. So that worker safety also we have to consider. So that's why we uh, uh, timely can do the TLC. So every all the concept uh, balance of the worker and the patient safety you have to consider that. Thing. And major portion of quality control is the purity, the safety, efficacy, and potency. Uh, so quality control is to ensure that uh, radio pharmaceutical produced and managed consistently and accordance with the quality standard. Uh, so that uh, what is the purpose of uh, QC is the I, I mentioned that the uh, patient safety so uh, just to that uh, idea, you have to uh, keep in mind, and then uh, you can do the, the that that is needed or not. You can consider uh, that is need or uh, that is no need. Then you have to consider the several uh, list of QC protocol. Then you can do. Okay, there are so many procedure for quality control of radio pharmaceutical. Even in a uh, normal pharmaceutical QC protocol, we cannot uh, approach, uh, we can uh, adopt our radio pharmaceutical uh, quality control. But uh, here you can see the minimal, minimal uh, quality control procedure here. You can see the appearance. So just uh, looking at clear or uh, color you can check pH also we can do the pH pa uh, uh, pH paper or pH meta you can do uh, radiochemical identification and purity you can check by the TRC and then uh, especially for FDG production we need a uh, uh, phase transfer catalyst just like uh, cryptofix or TBA like that and then uh, after the production of FDG, we, we purified with uh, several procedures, but uh, still uh, there are some possibility to contain that final protobial contains that uh, uh, this kind of cryptopics two to two, and also uh, uh, radionuclide identified. So we can check the half life, or we can check the uh, Gamma ray spectrometry, especially for MT, MTA uh, multi channel analyzer, MCA uh, multi channel analyzer, or uh, you can check the gamma counter. So you can see the gamma spectrum, and then you can see the major uh, gamma spectrum in, in the gamma counter. And finally, the residual solvent, we in case of FDG, we can use we can use the acid nitrile for a, a, a precursor uh, dissolution. So uh, uh, we have to check the residual solvent. So these are physical chemical or uh, radio or chemical.
property we have to check. Other part, major part is the biological system property. So sterility or endotoxin test. Uh, in case of Korea, especially sterility or uh, endotoxin test should be uh, done after the injection. Uh, but in, in some uh, country, they uh, should do the before injection, should the endotoxin test they uh, should done, be done. But a uh, stellar test is not possible because of it will take more than at least three days or sometimes uh, one week. So in case of F18, one week, after one week, there is no activity. So that's why uh, serology test should be done after the injection. So all, all these uh, rep, uh, quality control item is listed in the uh, KP. Also. Uh, you can see the quality control room is very clean and also uh, almost same uh, model is in uh, our third lab. Uh, is some, uh, I think this this uh, hot cell is somewhat different from the our third lab one, but the concept is almost same. So uh, you can see the uh, proper shield uh, side, uh, just uh, up uh, front of the that hot cell. Then you can stand here and you can put the your arms and in, inside of the hot cell. You can check the TLC or any other uh, kinds of quality control. And you can see the H HPLC or GC like that. And then you can do the every or the uh, quality test is, is in the one small room uh, in the cyclotron lab. So here you can see the he he can see the vial, uh, just the color or uh, turbidity or like that. And then, uh, we have to consider that the uh, proper light outside of the fossil. And also, as I mentioned, that you can do the pH paper and pH meter. Even in a uh, uh, paper or uh, pH meter, you have to keep the, your record. In case of pH meter, only color one, so you can put the uh, within within this uh, range. You can see the if that uh, yellow one, then you can put the pH four. But you have to keep the uh, picture of the pH paper. Because of later on, if you want to check the, all the uh, uh, record, then if that picture is not there, then just uh, writing is only uh, record. So we have to uh, put the picture uh, just uh, before the uh, that writing. Uh, but you have a pitch method, then you can get the. Uh, Kinds of uh, printed uh, printout uh, wizard, then you can attach it at uh, all the uh, uh, QC protocol. And radiochemical uh, purity, uh, you can do the TLC. I think I'm almost all, all of you never done. Maybe. Yeah? Only Jashin did. So I think uh, that is that's very easy. You can do just as just as uh, five minutes in instruction. Then then you can do because of just the pipetting is enough for uh, and then dropping uh, very easy uh, to put into the, uh, the developing solvent. Then you can wait uh, for uh, five minutes or ten minutes. Then you can uh, put the uh, TLC scanner. Then you can get the TLC result. It's very easy. So you can see here. Sometimes we need a uh, 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 withdraw with the syringe and needle. Then uh, just a small amount we can uh, get the, uh, the radioactivity and then put this uh, 
uh, bottom of uh, PLC and developing and you can see the uh, you can put the TLC scanner and then you can see that these kinds of chromatogram here also that report uh, well, uh, will be produced by the, the TLC scanner if you have a, you don't have a TLC scanner you can do because of in case of this one 50% uh, of radioactivity is 100% uh, uh, is uh, RF value uh, 0 0.5 then you can separate uh, uh, three region uh, with the scissors you can cut three regions and you can put the uh, that radio uh, TLC uh, this uh, uh, residual then you can put that gam gamma counter and you can check the radioactivity and red radioactivity percent you can uh, in case of this one bottom is zero uh, front one zero and then just uh, in between you can get um, more than 99% uh, then you can write the uh, uh, whole result in, in the uh, result, result paper then you don't need a, a TLC scanner but nowadays that is somewhat cheaper than earlier uh, so you can get the small uh, device for uh, this uh, TLC scan how we can read this one? ah which one? this figure how we can read it? ah yeah 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 so you have to understand where that TLC will come our product for our product so 50% is here then there is pass because of we 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 already uh, know that uh, that RF value of that our proper radio pharmaceutical is uh, 0.5 then then this is the 0.5 we can uh, confirm that uh, our radio pharmaceutical is uh, just uh, 0.5 every compound has it is own RF yeah sure so we can make uh, sometimes uh, RF value is a 1.01. 1. So you can see the uh, height peak is here. Uh, if that compound is RF value is zero, then you can see highest peak here. So every all the uh, RF value of that, about the technician compound, you can see the text. How about the uh, MIBI, technician MIBI of the uh, cell line? Zero. Okay. So every all the radio pharmaceutical is listed in a textbook, especially for the technician compound. This that's very easy. Sometimes we need a uh, reference standard uh, with it, but I think um, we don't need. It. Especially for I think uh, these are uh, these are only for a GMP procedure. In that figure, like if it is required 0.5, uh -huh. then this peak, like it is uh, not exactly a 0.5, mm -hmm. it can be 0.6 or 0.4. Is it acceptable? Still? Yeah, so, so that's why we, we have a range uh, from 0.4 to 0.7, then our product uh, within that field, then it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so you, you consider that the uh, always range okay that's a very important point and um, in case of crypto peaks we need a uh, that f18 is inside of this kg then uh, that is transferred to the uh, uh, FTG precursor then still this these are this compound is very hydrophobic so uh, that uh, in, in organic solvent we cannot remove it. so small amount of uh, this uh, crypto is there so uh, we we did a spot test just like uh, uh, inside of the one one specific uh, paper then you can see the, uh, the color change then we can detect uh, just like a pH paper we put the old picture of the after the one 
FTG production, and then uh, our range is uh, 50 ppm. So if even for a uh, darker than this 50 ppm, then there is not passed. Okay. So normally uh, less than 10 ppm. So we can identify uh, which which is good or not. Very, very easy. And because F18, that uh, half-life is uh, 109 point something minute like that. So that's why radionuclide uh, purity, we can check the dose calibrator. And then we can test uh, this uh, half-life uh, test. And then uh, we can measure that if that uh, longer half-life is inside of the that solution, then this graph is not uh, shown. So, so that's why that, that you can check the simply half-life test. Sometimes uh, you can see the gamma ray spectrometry here. So uh, 511 and uh, uh, 1022 cap. That is a specific positron uh, uh, spectrometer uh, spectrometry. So uh, in, in this uh, multi-channel analyze or gamma counter, you can get these kinds of uh, uh, spectrum. Then you can put the also uh, this result sheet is uh, attached to the uh, QC uh, protocol. And uh, in case of earlier, we do the end of Toxin test, uh, lot test for endotoxin test. That endotoxin means uh, any kinds of uh, uh, residual, uh, just like a cell membrane or like that, then bacteria membrane. Membrane. It will cause the uh, uh, temperature higher for a patient. So, so sometimes it's, it's very harmful, but sometimes it's not, uh, not so harmful to the patient. But uh, in, in all FDA, they said that uh, there should be no endotoxin in, in the inside of the ready pharmaceutical. So several different methods for uh, endotoxin test. Earlier, live test is the major one. Uh, so we, we should uh, obey that uh, less than 175 per volume EU per ml. So earlier we, we uh, mixed with our, our little pharmaceutical to the some specific uh, solution, then it it make a clot. Then that should be more than over than 175. So uh, no clot. So solution is still there. Then there is no endotoxin inside of the solution. Nowadays uh, they. Just put the one uh, small kit for a PTS portable uh, portable uh, a portable endotoxin test uh, kit system. Then you can put the old uh, radio pharmaceutical inside of the kit, and then you can see the within 10 minutes you can see the uh, what what's the amount of the endotoxin inside of the that produced radio pharmaceutical. So that's very easy, and then. And also very convenient. Within 10 minutes, you can see the all the endotoxin inside of the, uh, uh, your product. And sterility test. We directly we can uh, incubate uh, in the several proper incubating system, and we we can do ourselves in our uh, cyclotron lab. They uh, made a uh, some sterility test room, and then we can also uh, get the uh, incubator, cell incubator, uh, bacteria incubator, and then we can put the, our media into the our FTG uh, product, and then put uh, uh, three days, and then we can see the there should be F, uh, bacteria or not, and. We have no experience uh, in, in, the, in our uh, uh, FTG production. There is no 
bacteria or other component inside of the FTG. You can see here several different uh, media in, in the sterilic, uh, for a cellulite test. And final one is the uh, residual solvent. As I mentioned, that uh, we, we we have an acetonitrile and then also uh, ethanol. We use because of the some uh, C18 column uh, cartridge. We pre-wash it with the ethanol. So in KFT residual solvent guideline, ethanol should be less than uh, 5,000 ppm. Acetonitrile less than 410. So we can see the uh, that gas chromatography spectrum, and then you can uh, calculate the, from from this chromatogram and always less than these regulations. And sometimes we can do the HPLC uh, quality control because of some. Uh, Chemicals uh, have to do the HPLC purification or uh, quality control uh, from the HPLC. We, uh, in case of FDG, we don't need. Uh, just uh, we can do the uh, FDOPA study because of FDOPA can uh, be produced by the lysemic form. So only one should be injected. So. Uh, so we, we need a specific uh, ACE, uh, achiral column for HPLC. Then you can see the <coughs> D and L isomer uh, can be uh, separated, and only L isomer we can uh, produce after the uh, H HPLC purification. So. Uh, in my conclusion, uh, safety is very important, but higher safety, higher budget we need. So for FDG production, higher safety they can do than only one FDG uh, uh, needs uh, ten thousand dollar. They cannot do. So nowadays in case of Korea, we we uh, one dose for FTG is uh, around two hundred dollar. So for a production of FTG, we need if we need a uh, ten thousand dollar, they never do. Okay. So safety is very important, but we we have to consider the, the cost also. So I think balance is very important. Nowadays, so uh, all you we don't need for a GMP uh, production of FDG, but nowadays we can do because of our uh, uh, our country uh, has uh, some kinds of uh, uh, some kinds of uh, room for for that uh, kinds of ha somewhat higher safety. We can do the. Like uh, kinds of things, but uh, still, developing country we have you have to consider that uh, these these are need because of the uh, old facility you need uh, more than uh, I think a million I think more than three million dollar for QC old uh, QC protocol. You, if you can do, then you can do, but you cannot do the uh, facilitate the all the uh, QC or JMP uh, procedure. So, so how how can you do? So that's why other part, uh, if we can uh, uh, give the money to the all the facility for QC protocol, then mm. I, I think maybe. I, think in, I don't know the uh, your each country situation, but I think, uh, within ten years or within twenty years, we have a uh, kind of uh, plan to espel, establish that uh, all the QC protocol. Then we can do. In case of uh, T 
TLC is a basic uh, component for the QC. Then TLC is okay. Then also maybe endotoxin test is a very cheap uh, machine and very cheap uh, kit. That because of endotoxin is not there, then bacteria should be not there. And in case of FDG, after the production, you need to pass through the uh, terrarium filter. So uh, there is no uh, uh, bacteria or uh, other things in, inside of the bio. So there is no possibility to the, there is no bacteria inside and endotoxin is not there. So then TLC is okay, that, that's enough. So after 10 years, if you have a money for a QC protocol, and then, okay, we can do the uh, ourselves and the ourselves uh, cellular test uh, uh, facility for uh, our lab. And after 10 years, somebody after you, then they can make uh, another HPLC or GC like that. So balancing is very important. Then this is the last class for I think uh, I hope you can learn so many things and also our uh, PowerPoint file should be uh, you can get from our uh, web page and then I'm so happy also work together here. Yeah. Is there any question or comments from? Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Already? Yeah. Okay, this is the last time. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next time. Maybe see you ne next time will be the Physics, maybe Tain workshop. I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, maybe late uh, next year, I can, you can learn from after you're going back to your country. You if can, you want. You can connect. Yeah, you can connect. This, this, this is a very huge project for uh, Tain, is a Eurasia connection, internet connection. So. Uh, then you can get internet access you, to you, Eurasia. Yeah. Europe, Asia. Yeah. Ten is a that that kind of huge project. That that money from EU maybe. Just like uh, Silk Road, in, internet connection from EU to the uh, other Asian country. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.